children. So parents, please bring your kids with you into the bathroom. Hey kids, have your parents ever told you that you needed to take a bath? Maybe you are pretty dirty and stinky. Or maybe you just take a bath every few days whether you need it or not. I think taking a bath is pretty fun, especially if you have bubble bath with lots of tub toys. Well, sometimes we need to clean up other things, too. Uh, maybe we need to wash our clothes, because they get pretty dirty and stinky, too, don't they? Sometimes we need to clean the dishes and clean up our room and clean up the kitchen. Lots of things need to be cleaned. But has anybody ever asked you or told you that you needed to clean up your act? that you need to say you're sorry and you need to change your behavior and make better choices. Well, that happened in the Bible. A man named John the Baptist, who happened to be Jesus's cousin, went all around the country. He went traveling around the country telling people just that they needed to clean up their act and change their behavior. He told them that they needed to repent or be sorry for things that they had done wrong. And they needed to start sharing with each other and taking care of each other and doing being kind to one another. And he told them that the Messiah or the Son of God was coming and they needed to get ready for him. Well, people would come to John the Baptist to be baptized. He would baptize them in the Jordan River. What he would do, he would lower them down under the water and then lift them back out again. And when they came out, it was as if they were clean in their hearts and they could start a new life following God. Well, Jesus even came to John the Baptist, and he wanted to get baptized by him. Even though he was the Son of God, and he didn't need to clean up his act, but he wanted to do this because he was ready to start a new part of his life, a very special part. So John the Baptist baptized Jesus, and when Jesus came up, he started to pray. And when he did, the heavens opened up and the Holy Spirit came down in the form of a dove. And God's voice came down and said, this is my son who I love and in whom I'm well pleased. It was a very happy day indeed. Well, in our church, we don't baptize people in the river, usually. We have a baptistry. It, you may have seen it in the sanctuary in our church. It's up behind the choir in the sanctuary. And it's, it looks like a great big deep tub. And someday, if you decide you want to be baptized, it will be a special happy day indeed. Maybe not as dramatic as when Jesus was baptized. But your family will be there and the whole church will be there to say how much we love you and how proud we are of you. And we're going to welcome you into the Christian family and we'll promise to be there to support you as you begin your life as a Christian. It will be one of the most important choices you ever make. Well, if you ask your parents or your grandparents or your friends who have been baptized, ask them what it was like and what they remember and what it meant to them. It's a little different for everyone. 
And if you have other questions, you can always ask Ms. Angela or Pastor Morgan or Pastor Ann or Pastor Alice, and they'd be happy to talk with you. Or if you want, you can just pretend with me and baptize your rubber ducks or your dolls in the bathtub. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much. And thank you for sending us John the Baptist and your son, Jesus. Help us to make good choices and show our love for others. Amen.